Welcome to our Stupid House channel. Where we restore old houses, upcycle antiques, discuss living a minimalist lifestyle, and blah blah blah. Thanks for watching. Hey guys. standard porch here. Um, the house was built in 1925. It, at some point it was foreclosed on, so a lot of deferred maintenance. So let's just go check it out. Mm. <clears throat> and this here is, I, it's going to be our living room, um, but it's got the original plaster walls, got original woodwork for the windows, for the door, uh, the floors too. So we're, we're not really purists, but we are going to try to keep as much of the original features as we can. We're going to try to restore them as best we can. We're not really professionals. So uh, you'll get to come along on our misadventure journey. This is really awkward. <laughs> So another thing we really like too about the house were the original features. This is all plaster, um, so you've got a lot of like curved archways here. So we don't want to mess with that. Um, I am personally not a fan of the open floor plan, uh, so we're going to keep these rooms separated. So come on into the dining room. Now this room, uh, we're going to do a lot to this room. So this is going to go. Um, and the flooring, we're going to change all the flooring because I, I don't even know what this is, but I don't like it. Um, and we're going to split this room, not quite in half, but we're going to add in a half bath and a pantry. And we're also going to take out this door here to the kitchen. <clears throat> light which is really nice. Um, the house I'm in now gets like none and it's kind of hard to work with. And we've also got again the original arches here. We're going to keep all that. Uh, you've got like this little arch here that is definitely going to stay. A lot of the homes around this time period were they had unfitted kitchens. So uh, I'm going to have a whole series on that but basically we're going to be redoing a lot of this we're going to be getting rid of so we're going to be getting rid of all of this we've got a new sink coming in it's a, um, a 1949 the, the cast iron porcelain sinks are going in here we've got a hoover cabinet we've got baker's tables we're building an island right now and we'll have another series on the island too um but we're really only going to keep one cabinet here and it's going to be this one so this is going to get all restored new hinges, probably new hardware, um, and we're going to be fixing up the back and everything. So it looks like tiny. Um, Alright, so let's head outside and then we will check out the upstairs. And we 
We've also got what I believe is an original door too, so I would really like to keep this as well. Um, also this, and you know, it's gonna need a little bit of <laughs> uh, cutting at the bottom, so we'll actually open. Um, but this also here is most likely an original, um, or at least around not much past 1940. Can you cut out the part of me struggling with it? <laughs> Pull in on the bottom handle while you lift up on the thing. So we come out to this back patio here, and this is all going to get refinished at some point. It's not a top priority. Right now our top priorities are getting the inside. This is the one side of the house. It's eventually going to get a new roof. It's going to get painted, but we're going to leave that siding on there. It's going to get a little bit of cement work. We're going to keep the original windows. They all have storm windows on them. So this is our one stall, maybe one and a half stall garage. It has a little basement underneath it with some decent ceiling height once you actually get in there. Uh, the main thing it's going to need in here are some spacers up where it has gaps between these trusses and this beam. And it's going to need this junk thrown out of here. We might be using that for processing our deer. And then the outside is going to need paint and it's going to need a new metal roof. This is the upstairs part of the garage where we can park a car. It's going to need the junk cleared out, the deck power washed and retreated. And someone's going to have to get rid of this little dead bird here. the stairs um, this is all original so I'm gonna keep this and then restore it if you look down at the steps themselves at some point it had carpet on it so this is all gonna need to get scraped and restored and over here we've got this cool original window with these uh, really interesting little I don't know tabs but that's staying too <clears throat> And this carpet here, I'm gonna go. Probably gonna put a linoleum down. We're not quite sure yet. But you come in here to the first bedroom and original hardwood, nice little closet. So this is all gonna get cleaned up, restored, um, new paint, all that good stuff. down the hall here. The other thing I like about this hallway too is it's really open. It gets natural light in it. House we're in now doesn't have that. So that's going to be a nice change for us once this gets all cleaned up. And in here we've got what was listed as a third bedroom. It's really small, doesn't have, have a closet. Now we're up in western Pennsylvania so up here the housing stock's real old. Um, you do not have to have a closet for it to be listed as a legal bedroom up here because um, a lot of the stuff gets grandfathered in. So we're going to turn this into an office space and i um, not sure what we're going to do with the paneling yet. But yeah, carpet's coming out, new light fixture. Um, so that'll be cool. <clears throat> and then coming down the hall here, right now the electricity isn't on so it's a little dark. But here is the full bath. Now, this is all going to get changed around. It's, uh, it's a little weird. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I, I can't even with this bathroom. <laughs> um, the tub is interesting. It's uh, cast iron, so it's really heavy. We're, um, looks like we're going to be able to restore it, so we're going to try to do that and not mess up around with trying to get it out, because otherwise it's a perfectly good tub. And now we'll go in here to the master bedroom and it doesn't need a whole lot of work, really just paint and the floor is restored. It's got a little closet over here, I'm sure it was added in at some point. But yeah, I mean that's, that's pretty much it for the upstairs. Okay, so for the final part of the tour, we're going to go to the basement. Now, we're in western Pennsylvania, most houses here 
there have basements. And this is ours. It's a very Eli Roth chic, but it's got these really thick um, sandstone walls. And it's, it's like a fortress down here. <clears throat> and then back in there is the original coal basement, I guess it would be called, where you'd get coal delivered in there, you'd store it in there. Um, can't really see in there right now, again, no electricity yet, uh, but there are pieces of coal in there. All right, and so when you come around the steps down here, it's a laundry room. Now, we uh, had the option of putting the laundry upstairs, but I'd rather have a pantry up there, so we're gonna keep the laundry down here. Um, but yeah, it's a good size for that. Uh, we're gonna get a new washer and dryer because that one looks, it's just terrible. And a utility sink and a lot of cleaning, a lot of debugging, and gonna do something with this floor. Not quite sure what now, but I want it to where I can come down here in my bare feet. <laughs> so that's the goal for this room. Thanks to all of our subscribers. Thanks for watching. Some of our upcoming videos include the beginning of our kitchen restoration, the restoration of our butcher block slash island for the kitchen, the garage roof, the plumbing in the house, and the bathtub in the main bath.